hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you my beautiful hellebore plant which i planted a couple of months ago and i really wanted to plant a hellebore in my garden actually i'm working on a lot of inter interest or you can say year-round interest for my garden so my garden is already looking so beautiful and it's just the start of spring and you can see lots of things are so colorful and cheery and bright and the hellebore is a good addition in my garden so i'm really loving this plant you can see it's beautiful ruby colored blooms which note down a little bit but this variety is quite upright you can see the flowers some hellebore flowers are nodding down so <clears throat> although they are have good coloration at the back of their leaves as well this is the new flower so you can see it has a yellowish green center with creamy petals inside and lightly colored ruby petals outside as they age they turn more ruby and you can see the stamens opening um, once they fade they will develop a seed pod which you can deadhead or if you want your hellebores to spread you can leave it they will fall and in two to three years time you may have lots of hellebore seedlings growing along which you can then plant and this is perennial plant so it means it comes back every year so once you plant it you can enjoy it for many years they are a bit expensive so i bought this plant for 12 pounds i guess and since i have planted it it has already doubled in size it was in one liter container and it has already grown it had lots of birds when i bought it like this you see this is the bird and some flowers uh, but now it has loads and loads of flowers and it's quite visible i really like it and it is very prominent here in this border this is the shadier spot of my garden so hellebores grow well in light shade and they can go with a little bit of sun if the soil is moist so they like moist soil which is not a problem for us because we get lots of rain and the soil is always nice and wet and moist you can see it is really wet however it doesn't like uh, staying in water for long so the soil needs to be good draining good drainage soil uh, which is evenly moist all the time and it likes shady spot it prefers uh, fertile soil and our soil is really per fertile here in uk the soil is really fertile um, but it will cop in most of the soil conditions really easy to grow when you buy it from the garden center or nursery it comes in a pot and plant them in another pot uh, or in the garden bed either way they look beautiful they can be used as a specimen plant and they have really good flowering period so they flower from late winter to late spring so good amount of time so when i bought it it was already in flower and it's been like two months already i think i bought it in december and it is still flowering and it will continue flowering until late spring and after it's done flowering you can dead health the blooms and uh, that had the old leaves that's really important i do need to that had these old leaves you can see it is getting this silvery blight disease which is quite common with old leaves of hellebores so i need to remove these old leaves and i can just leave the new leaves here inside so old leaves here you can see i need to remove them and that's what i need to do today and that's all about carrying the hellebore so basically you need to keep them moist in a shade your spot uh, remove the old leaves in late winter early spring that had them in late spring and that's all they will continue flowering for you every year and really pretty in late winter early or spring and it's a source of nectar for early you know bees and insects when they start coming out in spring and not much in bloom so really good plant to grow and invest in your garden once you invest into it you will be really happy with your investment in coming years so i may get few more varieties 
to go in my garden and i'm really happy with this how it is performing so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i will that hit that had it now and i'll keep you updating about its progress any questions leave a comment see you next time bye bye